Please welcome Judy Boone. Her nice to have you on. were a staple in my house. I mean, Melissa would bring them home and read them. And then I read, you're considered controversial. Why? I mean, some people actually want to take them out of libraries. It makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense to me either, but it's true. I think there are, there are some people who are so afraid of everything, and particularly if their children like it, then it must be bad. Or um, they think puberty is, is never going to happen to their children. And if, if my children don't read about it, my children will never know about it. Because you're very honest. I remember, like, uh, Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. That was, I think, the first book. I think, remember that one? The only story? Yeah. Uh, she talked about putting cotton bras in her brassiere, right? Well, that's what I did. Right. And when I talk to kids, I tell them, I show them how I look, and right. I say, you know all those exercises? They don't work. They don't work. Right? And you know what else? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yes. <laughs> they feel better about but it. Getting your period, which is a normal thing. I should say so. I think it should be celebrated. Yeah. Why do you think there's such... What is going on they take the trouble to do this i mean it's so stupid it's fear censorship is always based on fear and there are some people who i think feel that they they need to control their children's lives so tightly they want to control their children's thoughts but you can never control another human being what okay. made you start writing did you always want to be a writer i never thought about being are a you writer. serious i'm serious so what happened I was a kid who had stories inside her head, always, right. always, stories, 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 but I never told anybody about them, and I never wrote them down. And suddenly I was a young woman, 27, I think it was young, at yeah, home. I think it was yeah. very young. <laughs> at home. <laughs> it sounds very young now, yeah. yeah. Home with two babies, and, and I didn't have the creative outlet that I had had in school. And I think I would have gone crazy. And I picked up paper and pencil, and I started to write. I was very Why lucky. children's books? What I knew. Children, were, I knew being a child. I knew being 12 years old. And at 27, I was really very, very naive in terms of the world. Although I had two kids and right. adult responsibilities, I knew being 12. And I still do. It's, it's right there, you know, yeah, right inside. Yes, you've been very successful with your adult books. You wrote yeah, Wifey. That's fun, too. And, uh, well, and Smart Women. And Smart Women. Yeah. What, if you had to choose one, what would you go back to? I would hate to have to choose, but yeah. if you made me choose, yeah. I, would, I would stick with kids. With the kids. Because I identify with them. Do you want, I know you had a wonderful book that came out, Children's Letters to You, because mm -hmm. they write to you and you answer. Did your children come to you for advice? No, of course not. <laughs> No, I'm that perfect mother to all those kids out there who think, if only, if only. Yeah, yeah. Um, but to my own, my own kids, I was Judy, I was mother, I was mom, and um, no, they weren't going to come to me. And that's okay, I think, although it hurts when your kids go to somebody else. It is okay. It's better if they have... Somebody. Yeah, exactly, than to keep it all inside. Would you, did you have a happy childhood? I think oh, I... Were you popular in school? Because you had all the feelings of the nerds, which is wonderful. <laughs> no, but you know, she has all the terrible feelings I would of like being... to tell you I was a nerd, but yeah. I, I really no, wasn't. No, because you're too pretty to be I, a nerd. I was, um, I was very shy until about fifth grade, and then I was, um, I was little Miss Sunshine. My brother, my brother was the nerd. I hope, David, if you're watching, you forgive me, but he was... But the... you're still a nerd, David. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nerds oh, am up, I going to get in trouble? Nerds end up doing very well. He, yeah. he was a loner, is, yeah. is I think what kids often mistake nerds for. There's a difference. Alone in the basement workshop, happy by himself, didn't want friends. And I was the one who um, acted out everything that my parents thought a happy child should do. Do you have no. grandchildren now? Not yet, but, but we're certainly looking forward. Are they in love? <laughs> Tell one last thing. We have to let you go. How you met your new husband. Oh, how I met Well, it's been a long time yes. since I met my but new husband. His daughter, his 12-year-old daughter, he had a list of four women, and he said to Amanda, which one should I take out for dinner? And she said, Dad, are you kidding? Judy Blue. Isn't that great? <laughs> I'm so good. It's such a good story. Thank you so much for being here. Thank the you. new book, Budget Mania. We'll be right back.